In this video, you will learn what software development is and how it fits into the broader field of software engineering. Hardware means the physical components of a computer or device, while software means the instructions that tell the hardware what to do. For example, the instructions shown here make a Roomba robot move as shown. These instructions are written in what's called a programming language. There are thousands of programming languages. We'll use one called Python. It's a great language for beginners and for professional software developers. Beginners can dig right into it, while professionals can use its powerful features to be incredibly productive. Projects written in Python range from games like Civilization IV, to web applications like GNU Mailman, to popular tools like Dropbox, Juice, and BitTorrent. Check out these references if you want to learn more about programming languages. Software engineers create software, but that might not mean what you think. What are some activities you think that software engineers might do, besides typing on a computer? Keep thinking about that question while I get you started on its answer. First, let's talk about what people sometimes think that software engineers do. Lots of people focus either on typing on a computer or doing stuff with the computer hardware. Moms and dads sometimes think that software engineers write, and hence play, video games all day. Other people suspect that software engineers are busy developing apps to change the world, while upper management hopes that software engineers are cranking out stuff that will make lots of money. Many software engineers see themselves as an artist who creates beautiful artifacts, much as a painter or a musician would. And yes, putting out fires, that is, fixing broken software, is a big part of software engineering in the real world. Well, software engineers do in fact do all those things, but let's look at it another way over the lifetime of a software project. First, software engineers might do market research and talk with clients and others to define the requirements for the proposed project. Then we move into what some call the software development aspects of the project. That includes analyzing the problem and figuring out a design to solve that problem, implementing that solution by coding it in some programming language, and fixing the errors, which we call bugs, found at that point. After that, the project is often handed off to independent testers. Finally, a significant part of software engineering is making changes that people ask for, including putting out fires, I suppose. In this course, we focus on software development. We'll do analysis and design throughout at a level appropriate for our first course in software development. But some of the coding you do will be surprisingly sophisticated, achieving pretty cool stuff. Some of you will become professional software engineers, but more of you will instead manage software and other engineers. Even though the software you develop in this course is necessarily modest in size, we will teach you techniques that scale up to larger software. In that way, you'll achieve the fundamental goal of this course, understanding how software should be developed by being able to do it yourself. 